It's final day at the German Open 2022 and I welcome you to the final match summary of the day. After six days of world-class badminton, we finally can announce who has won the title here in Mülheim. And now we will present you the five winners in each category in our final match summary. First up was mixed doubles. Subsiri Taratanachai and Deshapol Puavaranukru opened the final day of the German Open against China's Huang Yakuang and her new partner Wu Xuanyi, and they definitely were on a mission. With great vision and variation in the attack and a very solid defense, the world number ones took game number one in a storm. 21 11. Both of them, Wu Xuanyi and Hong Yakuang, they are also good, but today uh, I think we can play better than them. And they were by far the better pair today. Also in the second, they didn't slow down at all and won the first ever German Open title for a mix from Thailand. After that performance, Taratana Chai and Pua Varunukru are definitely a hot contender next week at the All England Championships. If there was one match today that got everyone out of the seat, it was women's doubles between world champions Chan King Shen and Jia Ji Fan against European champions Gabriela and Stephanie Stoeva. Chen and Jia won the opening game with 21-16, but the Bulgarians didn't give up and started to move their opponents brilliantly out of defense. In this slow condition, we just need to play like defense and yeah. keep the shadow in because with the attack for woman double it's very difficult to win a point. So more defense and just make the opponent turret is the key. <laughs> the rallies got longer and longer. Game and match points were saved, sometimes even with the help of a challenge. And finally, the second game climaxed in a deciding point at 29 all. Uh, at that point, uh, on my mind was only just don't make mistakes because I was uh, on the receiving. But they managed to keep their nerves and forced the deciding game. Even though the two Bulgarians in total played more than six hours throughout the tournament, they seemed fresher and opened a small gap right in the beginning of the third. Uh, we actually we changed a lot of things yes. uh, this year. We started working with new coach, with a new physio, and uh, he made our program uh, different. So everything is practically new for us. And I think this was helping a lot because he, um, before we come here, we work with our physio a lot of, of breathing and more physical trainings. And I think this was helping us a lot uh, to survive this tournament if we will stay like six hours. But the top seeds from China didn't give up, closed the gap and especially Chen stepped up in the end and showed no signs of fatigue as she went all out on the attack to earn match point. <laughs> Surprisingly, the match didn't end with a marathon rally, but a precise smash from Gia that found the line and denied the title to Europe's last contenders. What a way to win a title. <laughs> Sorry, lucky ball, lucky ball, lucky ball. Yeah. Lucky or just an amazing touch? The women's singles final was the clash of two Chinese teammates. Olympic champion Chen Yufei faced He Bing Xiao, who eliminated world champion Akane Yamaguchi and An Se Yong on her way into the final. He seemed to be stronger and won the first set 21-14. But Chen Yufei was able to increase her level and the second set went to be really tight. Both players had their chances to win, but in the end, it was He Bing Zhao who secured the win in a spectacular way.
He was totally delighted, as this was her first title since the Korea Open 2019. After three second places, 20-year-old Kunlovut Vititsan finally won his first World Tour title in Mülheim. His opponent Lakshya Sen, who defeated Viktor Axelsen yesterday in a thriller, showed some flashes of brilliance, but overall made too many easy mistakes against a well-playing opponent. Even though Vititsan played five tough matches this week, he doesn't care about the upcoming tournament at Birmingham too much. So you still have uh, enough power in your legs for all England now? Yeah, of course. A spectacular final at the end of the day that almost got ruined by an injury. Nuri Zudin, one of the Malaysian finalists, hurt his knee in the final phase of an exciting match against China's Liu Yushen and Wu Xuan Yi. It sounds something like uh, pop, like, like pop in, at my knee. Both pairs showed amazing offense in their games. Go and Isudin took the first game, the Chinese forced the decider. And even though Isudin was clearly handicapped after the injury, the Malays were still able to win the game and take the crown at the German Open 2022. We just try our best. But lucky for me because my partner, I got my partner to cover me. So that's it. The German Open 2022 are in the books. The winners are crowned and I hope you enjoyed the action over the last couple of days. I definitely did and I want to say thank you to all the people who made that amazing event possible. I really hope to see you all next year here in Mülheim an der Ruhr for the German Open 2023. So much for now. Have a good night and bye bye.